Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Babili from Code Award. And now we're going to continue our data binding series. We're going to go for part two. Uh, part one was, ab was about binding a control to a single item. Uh, in part two, we're going to uh, bind a control to a collection of objects. So let's go back to our example in part one. Um, let's load it and let's remember what the result was it was this uh, but what if I said like why don't we make another ID also here so let's try making one let's see if, if how it works whether it will work or not actually um, okay let's go to the C sharp file okay so let's add here another one so let's add a random number and let's choose a name like mm, let's choose like Steve And here we go. Let's see whether it will work or not. Oh, it seems we forgot to add the age. Yes. Sorry. Here we go. Well, it's not showing. Why? Because it's a single item. And actually, we can't add another item. And that's the reason why in Windows Phone, uh, Windows Phone 8, we need to use the list box. Or we need to add lists because we cannot put them manually. So, how do we add lists? So, let's make uh, let's continue with this example or let's make a new one I think it's going to be better okay here we go okay let's call it data binding example 2 okay let's wait for the project to be loaded here we go okay uh, we will go to blend for a while we need to do some stuff there Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to bind a control to a list of the collection of objects is going to be in a list. So we'll see how we will use list box with data binding. So let's call it here data binding two. Okay. Uh, we don't need to add anything thing here I think it's better if we fly back to Visual Studio it's going to be a good idea okay um, let's go to the C sharp file of the main page and here we get it again uh, we need to make a class as usual so public class so let's take as usual personal info and let's start with the uh, constructor so 
we're going to get int id and string name okay let's define the properties public and id oh sorry I think we need to make it small case here the same for here and here also mm, name get set okay and as usual we have the, the override so public override string to string okay uh, for here as assign the data ID is equal to ID and name is equal to name and we're going to return ID is equal to ID and under it name is and here we go we add the name and we put the slash in for the new line two slashes so we can make a difference okay so here we go now I think for now we need to use a new class which is I property changed and it helps in one way or in two way data binding so when you make a change to the source it will affect the uh, target and vice versa when you change the target we also change the source with it. so we need to use using system dot collection dot object model and here we need to add observable collection class this one will help with I notify change this class will really help and we really need it it's an essential it's an essential part of data binding for one way and two way data binding so we put here the name of the class and we call the object let's call it PI personal info equal new the same object the same class name I think yeah okay so we have it here now how do we add them so simply pi dot add and new personal info and here we type what we have for example, this is the ID. As usual, we have the name David. For example, if you want to add another one, another guy, we I dot add new personal info. Let's have a new number and Steve. Okay. Um. We need to close them sorry here okay. close the bracket uh, anyways okay we don't have a list box to bind this inside so we have to create a list box for list box actually we need uh, a namespace to add it here so let's add it here Here we go. 
Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, with this, we can create a list box with this name space. So we go here. In XAML list box and we choose a name we let's call it list box one and for sure we're going to choose the item source we're going to bind it to our binding and let's put a hi put us uh, 600 and for width as 400 so this is a list box and we're going to put the data inside them how do we do simply here list box one dot data context equal um, Um, I think we need to add um, it's the PI yes it's the object we need to put the name of the object here so let's check our result here we go so we have here and here we have two names we we can we can see here the structure is very stable and we can add a third guy so let's let's put an ID And let's call him Sammy. Let's see now. Here we go. So with data binding with applications that they don't require Windows Azure to like they don't need Windows Azure services. Like their data binding is very essential and useful. And this is how we do the binding and an item to a collection of objects. So in the next video we're going to go for part 3 uh, and I, I, uh, I uploaded the sample in the blog, go the world blog. So if you want to download the sample you can go there and you will find it. Thank you very much for watching.